Hi, this is Obble1975, and I know you're used to me bringing you cockerels and rescued chickens. This, however, is a rescued hare. We were out walking the dogs. This was the day after we had our fox attack, and the dogs came across this little guy hidden in the undergrowth. And after we managed to get the dogs away from him, Helen put him in a box, loaded him up in the car, and brought him home for some much-needed care. She bottle-fed him. We looked after him for nearly a month got his weight up, got him in a position where he's doing very well, he's very healthy, but we haven't got the facilities to look after a hare as he gets older. So we took him to the Oaken Furrows Wildlife Rescue Centre, they're quite local to us in Summerford Canes, and they were able to take him on and look after him and they'll get him ready to be released back into the wild. And ironically, he's actually going to be released into the wild quite close to where we rescued him from but he's going to be released as an adult or at least close to an adult and in a much better shape than when we found him certainly he wouldn't have survived had Helen not taken him in but she got very attached to him he got very attached to her and it was quite sad when we had to let him go but it's all for the best because this little guy is going to enjoy life out in the country and run wild like he should do even though he had to have a little helping hand from humans to get him in a position where he could do that. Now, the two pictures after this little bit of video are what he looked like when he left us. And you'll see he grew massively. Actually, there's four pictures. And you can see the size difference between the first picture I showed you, which was literally the day we found him, to the size he was three or four weeks later when we had to give him up. because this little guy lived in a box we nicknamed him seven and little seven is doing very well at the oaken furrows wildlife rescue center and he's on schedule to be released soon back into the wild and helen's very pleased that she was able to step in and give this guy the little helping hand that he needed uh, she had to uh literally get up in the middle of the night to bottle feed her hair and it was just another animal under my roof that I didn't expect to be sharing my home with. But there we go, as you can see, he went from a tiny little thing to quite a healthy, chunky thing. And that's all for this video. And I'll leave it there and say thank you very much for watching.